Around the world, people unknowingly interact with potentially harmful lights every day. Certain types of light bulbs present in our homes, offices, schools and community buildings contain mercury. Fluorescent lighting was first commercialized in the 1930s. It really was the workhorse of the lighting industry. Whenever you needed a lot of light or you had long operating hours, fluorescent lighting was a solution. Compact fluorescent lamps were introduced in the late 1970s, early 1980s in response to the oil shocks and it's essentially a compressed, condensed version of fluorescent. Mercury laden bulbs at the time were more energy efficient and they were more durable. However, mercury is actually a pollutant. It is one of what WHO considers the 10 most toxic compounds within our environment. Human activities have created a demand for mercury, and once that mercury uh, is introduced into our environment, uh, like energy, it cannot be eliminated. It can only be converted to different forms. Mercury is a neurotoxin that can be released during manufacturing and disposal if you put it in the regular waste, a lot of that mercury ends up in the landfill and it's going to leach into the soil and water and it's going to pollute the planet for years to come. When a fluorescent light breaks, mercury vapor is released into the air. Completely cleaning up the mercury released by a broken bulb is difficult and requires special steps to avoid further contamination. Mercury as a vapor is more dense than the air within our environment, so it, it will tend to settle onto the ground, and that is where we have our little ones. Children are particularly susceptible because they have very high cell turnover. That's when their brain is growing at the highest rate. So fetuses and young children are particularly vulnerable to the toxic effects of mercury. But there is a simple solution. Clean LED technologies have advanced quickly over the past decade. LEDs are mercury-free and use half as much energy as lights with mercury. Their lifespans are two to three times longer, so you don't have to replace them as often. And LEDs are increasingly affordable in all markets around the world. There's an opportunity here to move away from a technology that is harmful and damaging. It's unlike in a time where we didn't have an alternative. The LED is far more efficient and cost-effective for me as the end user. So if we are using energy-efficient lighting products, we are actually reducing pressure on the actual grid, which in turn reduces CO2 emissions. Transitioning the global lighting market to mercury-free LED lighting would avoid 3.5 gigatons of carbon dioxide emissions through 2050 the energy equivalent to actually doing away with compact fluorescent lighting would be removing passenger vehicles from the roads for an entire year. The Clean Lighting Coalition, or CLIC, is leveraging expert knowledge from public health authorities, mercury and technology specialists, and industry leaders to transition global markets to safe, cost-effective, and energy-saving LED lighting. We are working to remove allowances for fluorescent lights under the Minamata Convention on Mercury to ensure a safe lighting future for all. There's no longer a need to tolerate having toxic mercury light sources in your home. By switching to LED, we get a more energy efficient, longer lasting, more sustainable and cleaner light source in our offices and homes.